Cat scratch disease is a bacterial infection caused by Bartonella hensili, an intracellular gram-negative rod. This disease typically manifests after a scratch or bite from a cat that carries the bacteria in its saliva. Research indicates that cats may acquire Bartonella hensili from fleas or their droppings. Kittens, especially those younger than one year, are more likely to harbor the bacteria increasing the risk of transmission through scratches or bites. Epidemiology Cat scratch disease is relatively uncommon, with approximately 12,000 people diagnosed annually in the United States. Children under the age of 15 are most commonly affected. More than half of the cases occur between September and January in the United States. The disease has a worldwide distribution. Etiology Bartonella hensili is the primary causative agent of cat scratch disease. The infection typically affects the lymph nodes that drain the area of inoculation. Although cat scratch disease has been clinically documented for over 50 years, the specific bacterial agent was not identified until later. Cats become infected with Bartonella hensili through flea bites and typically do not show symptoms. Transmission to humans occurs through scratches, bites, or infected saliva coming into contact with broken skin. Pathophysiology The hallmark of cat scratch disease is lymphadenopathy near the site of inoculation. In immunocompetent individuals, a granulomatous response is typical. However, immunocompromised individuals may develop a vascular proliferative response. Affected lymph nodes become enlarged and tender within one to two weeks. Cat scratch disease can also cause chronic lymphadenopathy. In some cases, the infection can spread to the eye, liver, spleen, and central nervous system. Clinical presentation. Common signs and symptoms include a cat bite or scratch that becomes reddened or swollen, painful or swollen glands, especially in the armpits or groin, Flu-like symptoms including headache, decreased appetite, fatigue, joint pain or fever, and a scab or blister filled with pus at the scratch site. Other manifestations can include cutaneous findings such as an erythematous papule, vesicle, or nodule at the inoculation site that persists for one to three weeks or even months. Lymphatic involvement presents as tender lymphadenopathy, either solitary or multiple nodes, one to five centimeters in diameter with possible overlying erythema. Visceral involvement includes the liver and or spleen, presenting with fever, weight loss, and abdominal pain. Ophthalmic manifestations include parano oculoglandular syndrome, characterized by conjunctival infection and local adenopathy. Neurologic manifestations include ataxia, cranial nerve palsies, encephalitis, or septic meningitis. Musculoskeletal symptoms include arthralgias, myalgias, and arthritis. Diagnosis. A presumptive diagnosis can be made based on a patient's history and physical examination findings. Exposure to cats is an important factor to consider. Serologic testing, such as enzyme immunoassay or immunofluorescence assay, may be used to confirm the diagnosis though negative results do not rule out the disease. Lymph node biopsy is not routinely indicated, but may be considered if the diagnosis remains unclear. Management. In mild cases, treatment may not be required. Supportive care, including antipyretics, anti-inflammatory medications, and warm compresses can help manage symptoms. For moderate cases in immunocompetent patients, Azithromycin may be considered. A five-day course of azithromycin has been shown to alleviate pain associated with severe lymphadenopathy, but does not appear to reduce the overall duration of symptoms. The typical azithromycin dosage is 10 mg per kilogram on day one, followed by 5 mg per kilogram on days two through five. For individuals weighing 45 kg or more, the adult dose of 500 mg on day one followed by 250 mg on days 2 through 5, can be administered. Immunocompromised patients should receive treatment to prevent the progression to severe systemic disease. Antibiotic regimens for severe, disseminated disease may include rifampin, 
trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, and ciprofloxacin. Complications Most healthy individuals do not experience complications from cat scratch disease. However, those with weakened immune systems are at risk for more severe complications. These can include bacillary angiomatosis, a skin disorder characterized by red, elevated lesions surrounded by a scaly ring. Parano oculoglandular syndrome presents as conjunctivitis with fever and swollen lymph nodes in front of the ear. Endocarditis is an infection of the inner lining of the heart. Hepatosplenomegaly refers to enlargement of the liver and spleen. Neuroretinitis involves inflammation of the eye and optic nerve. Encephalopathy denotes problems with brain function. Prevention. Preventive measures include avoiding cat scratches and bites. If a scratch or bite occurs, the area should be washed immediately with soap and water. It is also important not to allow cats to lick open wounds. Other preventive steps include washing hands after contact with cats, keeping cats indoors to reduce the risk of flea bites, avoiding stray cats or kittens, and implementing flea control measures. Prognosis. In 90-95% to 95 of children, cat scratch disease resolves spontaneously with symptomatic control. Recovery may take months to a year in patients with disseminated disease, with morbidities varying depending on the organ systems involved. Immunocompromised individuals may experience a more debilitating course. Lymphadenitis can take several months to resolve, but most patients develop lifelong immunity to the infection. Death is rare in immunocompetent patients. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.